Now you have seen whales dealing with dozens of pounds of rock hard barnacles stuck to their skin that gets heavier and itchier over time. These little hitchhikers attach themselves to a whale's skin and never let go. But here's the real question. Do whales actually try to get rid of barnacles? You bet they do and they have some pretty clever ways of doing it. First there's breaching, that spectacular move where whales launch themselves completely out of the water before crashing back down with a massive splash. You have probably seen this in video but it's not just for show it can shake loose some of those stubborn barnacles then this rubbing whales scrape themselves against rocks and try to dislodge the barnacles some whales love to rub along the seabed like they're using the ocean floor as a giant exfoliating pad and speaking of rubbing do whales scrape off barnacles on ships sometimes there have been reports of whales rubbing up against boats not just out of curiosity but possibly to scratch off some of these clingy passengers whales do have some luck ridding themselves of barnacles and dead skin while breaching or jumping forcefully out of the water and crashing back down. However, this behavior can't totally get the job done. Now you might wonder, why don't whales just help each other out? The problem is, whales don't have hands and their mouths can't reach most of their bodies. They are basically stuck with whatever barnacles latch onto them. But here's the twist. Barnacles aren't in that sense harmful to whales. They don't suck their blood or steal their food. Instead, they're just annoying passengers that add extra drag. Some scientists even think barnacles might help protect whales from predators. So while whales do their best to shake them off, these tiny crustaceans have one job, cling for dear life. And as long as whales exist, barnacles aren't going anywhere. But if you want to know how exactly barnacles find a whale, then click here to watch and thanks for watching.